In this uh, video cast, we're going to look at the muscles of the face and the neck. I will go through them several times, make sure you're reviewing them, and also make sure you take the practice test over these muscles because again, some of their spelling can be difficult. We start here with the frontalis, which should make sense because of the frontal bone. Same thing here, we have the temporalis, if you remember the temporal bone. You have the orbicularis oculi, think of orbit around oculi, the eye. Here we have the orbicularis oris, it would go completely around the mouth if we had the whole head. Here we have the masseter. The buccinator is the muscle, deep muscle here. Then we have the sternocleidomastoid. Break that word into parts and it's really not that hard to spell. And if you think about its attachment points, that mastoid process, the sternum and the clavicle. A muscle that is not shown here because it's a superficial muscle is going to be the platysma which would attach here and come down to the clavicle area. Again, it's called the platysma. To find the platysma, there's one, one uh, torso head that has it and also if you look at the poster, it also has the platysma actually there that you can see it. So let me go through this a few more times. Frontalis, temporalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, buccinator, sternocleidomastoid, platysma, frontalis, temporalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, buccinator, sternocleidomastoid, and the platysma. One more time. Frontalis, temporalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, buccinator, sternocleidomastoid, platysma. This time I'm just going to go through and point to each muscle and you say it out loud. Again, by repeating these terms, you're more likely to spell them correctly. So again, this time I'm just going to point to them, give you a second or two to respond, and go on to the next one. Okay, again, review this again if you need to and make sure you take the practice test.